to uh, our presentation, and I would like to introduce with you guys my partner, my uh, Joomla team member. It's Danny from Romania, so uh, he'll be with me here, and uh, we'll do it together. Okay. So, um, as we can see that um, we all have here everybody from every part of the world, so it's good to, 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 um, to know that our template, our temp fr framework is is uh, also a working solution for, for you all. So um, I'll start by telling how and when we start this project. It's all about developer and users. So what we are going to talk about here is not about Joomla, of course about Joomla, but it's, we, are, we are making this product. It's not only for us, but only for use, only for designers, developers, users, even, even business consultants, because you will know how to provide the service for your client. You will tell them the good thing about the template that you can, you can make from this framework. So um, talking about developers, so I have a, a, a good number to tell that it's 70, 30. So what is it? So we have made 70% of the, of the job for you if you are going to use it. So you guys want to design Joomla template. And if we start with this framework, you save 70% of your time. Why? Because, OK, we are going to talk in detail about why this can, uh, can happen. But uh, uh, you can have an idea in your mind that you can shape 70% of your time. And all you, have to, all you have to do is to make the rest 30%. So it can save you some money, some time. And we all know that money is time. Our time is money, right? OK. So for users, it's OK. You, as a user, you don't have to do many development works, but you have to just use it. And when you use the template, you, what you have to do is to customize. Because I'm sure that everybody cannot use any template as it is. You have to change it to the liking. You have to change logo. You have to change your colors. So it will match it with your website identity. So we, we put the customization on the top and so that we make the easiest way for you to do it. And uh, the second important thing is about the updating works. People have been complaining with our templates, and of course, you two guys, okay? People are always complaining about how to update a template. Because it's, it's template is something that made for you to change. It's not something like extension. Okay, you, for extension, you install it, and you use it. But for template, you install it, you change it, right? So we're going to make a way, provide a way so that you can update the template on the fly. You don't have to worry about losing your customization. You don't have to worry about your code. So that is the point that we come with this framework. So, um, so how long? I'm sure you, some of you here know about Joomla and how we have been you know, doing in Joomla business. And it's back to 2005. It's also the mumble, mumble times that when Joomla start, Joomla was born. So uh, it has been five years, and we focus totally on the template, as you can see. We have been doing this every, every day, every month. So this product, this framework, is not only a resource of five days, five weeks, or five months. It's five years. So we have put everything we know on our own of our experience into this framework. So you can be sure that we are one of the best one to make this. So we can, you can be, uh, you can feel safe when using this because we, it takes five years to make it and it can take us another 10 years to maintain it. So you don't have to worry if there's something wrong, any bugs, we, 
we learn it. We will fix it for use. So now I would like to um, come to uh, the details of the framework. It's, uh, there are several things that uh, you should know about it. It's, uh, I have a quick intro introduction about what is the T3 framework, and then we come to the benefit of, of user and deep developer who we, we can benefit from this framework. And in the final part, we will have some uh, template work in, in action. We will showcase you how the template work in action. Okay, so Danny will start with the first one, okay? okay. Uh, it's nice to be here. Um, I'm a technical writer. I'm also uh, a good friend with uh, Mr. Hong here. Okay, I'm going to, I'm trying to speak louder. I'm not used to speak uh, to uh, larger audiences like this, but um, I'm trying my best. <laughs> so, um, we, uh, we introduced the, the first version of the framework uh, last year in Bang Bangkok, and uh, it was a bit hit, big hit at that time. And uh, uh, we can assure you this, uh, this is much more improved, this version 2, it's much more improved. So let's, uh, let's have a look at the, um, the main features. So you have uh, the already popular mega menu that's, oh, sorry. <laughs> so you have provided some, something that we call mega space for the, uh, the, the content, and especially the main navigation. So. Uh, this uh, this uh, uh, this had a, a little uh, minor um, CEO problem uh, as uh, uh, it uh, used to add some some uh, tiny uh, uh, parts in the links when you you had to convert your your links to self links. Okay, the uh, search engine friendly links. <clears throat> but we'll uh, talk about it later about uh, this mega menu system. So uh, we have uh, multiple layouts feature. Uh, we're going to introduce a little later. Uh, to understand what's this about, uh, we, uh, uh, we try to uh, Take to, to take over some of the index.php uh, uh, functions to um, let other files manage this. Um, module positions, uh, 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 JavaScript calls, and CSS calls. Other files can do it better. And it's, it has a lot of security improvement uh, about it. And, uh, it makes the the template much flexible, much more flexible. So uh, another uh, improvement that it's coming with uh, the new version of the framework is that you can manage these layouts directly in the backend, and we're going to show you just at, at the end of our presentation t uh, today here. So uh, uh, mobile ready is. Um, is also powered by multi layouts feature, so uh, it was designed to to load de uh, designated uh, layouts for uh, iPhone devices, handheld de devices. Uh, so uh, actually, the framework can detect uh, if you are browsing the uh, T3 powered website uh, with an iPhone device. Well, the framework will load a special design uh, layout for you uh, for this device. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. How many of you are using the mobile to access the internet nowadays? Everyone? That is a very good thing, and one of the things that I like most in this standard framework. So now, you, if you go to any big site, like news or sport news. Or even some uh, black side, you will see if you are browsing it with default browser like Firefox or uh, Opera, IE, 
you have a different layout when you browse it with the iPhone or you need to be yeah. So for iPhone from Nokia you can remove the unnecessary things. Yes, that's 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 what uh, I, I wanted to 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 say. <laughs> so, for for instance, uh, you ha you're browsing uh, with an iPhone, uh, a T3 uh, powered website, and uh, uh, your iPhone will load only uh, the basic CSS, the basic scripts. So you don't need all the modules. You don't need all the advertising. Uh, in some c cases, of course, you need them. <laughs> but uh, uh, let's let's uh, let's make this uh, mobile ready uh, uh, a good thing. Let's uh, think about it uh, as a good thing. So another thing about the T3 frame framework, uh, it was introduced the right to left uh, support language. Uh, we. Uh, we wanted to uh, continue with the, uh, the next version uh, to use this feature. So what, what basically is, um, you can set a default uh, text direction, direction in the front end, but of, co of course you can, you can allow your, your front end users to, uh, to switch the text direction and uh, uh, basically, the framework w will load a special styling for, for this uh, right to left mode so to um, your uh, Ara Arabic or <laughs> um, that part of the world can <laughs> browse websites um, in a proper layout design. So uh, the, uh, the next big thing is uh, introduced in this uh, new version of the framework is the, uh, the new performance features. Uh, we have uh, introduced uh, ca uh, cache, caching, template caching, and uh, CSS and JavaScript optimization to speed up the uh, loading page. And um, uh, compression is about 60, 70 percent. Uh, caching saves, well, I, I don't remember exactly the numbers, but it saves a lot of, uh, of uh, PHP queries and uh, it's a good thing. <coughs> and uh, another very important uh, feature introduced in this new version of the framework is the profiles. Well, th these profiles hold all template settings. Everything that you can uh, customize for the front end, uh, uh, meaning the logo, the font size, the uh, uh, template width, the uh, user tools, uh, whether you want to enable them or not. Uh, uh, of course, a, th a color theme uh, or a layout. So. Uh, Let's talk about uh, this uh, new structure. Our, the, the new version of the framework comes with um, the template that is lighter and uh, some plugins to, to take over some of the uh, uh, scripting and uh, engineering the uh, the front end view so we introduced uh, the framework now uh, as a plugin a core plugin so this is the thing that makes uh, updating easier you can install the new template uh, the new framework uh, customize your your template and uh, you can update the core plugin right away have the latest version you don't have to worry about uh, uh, losing your customizations so uh, of course uh, the first version of the framework uh, mostly the latest versions uh, introduced a menu parameters plugin to take over and fix the uh, CEO issues that previous version had 
and uh, <clears throat> another and very nice uh, uh, feature coming with the, the new version of the framework is the typography plugin to take over everything uh, that's about special styling, special content styling. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is, this is the, uh, the new uh, typography plugin. As you can see, uh, uh, you don't have to copy paste from uh, uh, previously used uh, typography article. You have this plugin, and uh, writing your uh, content editor, you can. Uh, you have this tiny uh, little button. Yeah. So you have the, uh, this tiny little button to enable the plugin and. Uh, this will help you to basically insert on the fly any uh, con uh, sp special styling and uh, your work is much easier and mas you can edit content much faster. So this, uh, uh, this plugin and this uh, externalize of this function, uh, it, it brings a, a good uh, benefit to, to you. So if the content does not use any special styling, it, it will know, it lo, it will know, it will load no CSS, no styling, nothing. So it's something that we, we like to think it's modular and it's smart. Okay. I'm, I'm proud to say that this is one of the unique features that no one else, you can, you can find, uh, no one else offers. And don't you guys like have these plugins? <laughs> so you can make use of it. <laughs> so, normally, when you use when you make a content, you tell the content, and you copy, I want to have a download button. So normally you have to go to the template, you copy the, you know, the HTML, and paste into the editor. And, okay. and even if, when you paste into the editor, the, the layout and the look and feel of the download button, does not appear until you shift and you go up and you uh, review it in the final. And also, with this plugin, we only load the property, the state edit of the download button only. We don't load the other type of work. So we save a lot of, you know, my CLF file and a lot of resources for the server. So we only load what you are using. And that is good thing about type of work. People have been complaining about typography for a long time because we don't have many. If one, when we put too many typography in a site, the site can couple, the template can couple the site, and it will have a lot of uh, requests, server requests, and it, it loads the styling that you don't use. So that's why we come up with this idea. Okay. So, thanks. Thanks for helping. <laughs> 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 so, uh, you can. Uh, Hover each of the uh, uh, special styling and preview. And if you like, so for instance, this kind of uh, number, block number, you can click it and uh, uh, this will be inserted in the content right away. You don't have to uh, worry if uh, you have the complete code or is that class okay or you don't have to worry about this anymore. <clears throat> Okay, so let's go ahead to next slide. So we we talked about the cache feature in uh, the new version of the framework. Well, uh, as I said, this was introduced to lower the PHP queries. To uh, well, it's we already know that with uh, Joomla core cache features. Uh, in some cases, it works perfect. In other cases, uh, the environment is not so friendly for this feature. So, uh, uh, in some, in other cases, this feature can con conflict with Ajax, Ajax manipulated content like uh, weather modules, like uh, 
uh, stock exchange uh, rates or something. And uh, you can exclude uh, in this, in this uh, area here, you can uh, choose the, the blocks. We're, we're going to talk about it later, what are these blocks about. Uh, you can exclude some blocks to not use this uh, cache feature, so you can, you can be sure uh, the content uh, will be displayed properly, the Ajax manipulated content will be uh, working properly. So uh, basically, as Joomla uh, recommends, uh, we also recommend to not use this feature for uh, development uh, websites, so you should uh, disable this cache and uh, also Joomla cache. So uh, if we, we go to the next slide, please. So this is uh, the Joomla front-end cache. We, uh, we, want, we just want to show you this tiny folder, T3, that stores everything that is uh, uh, HTML, H, HTML generation uh, uh, containing the layout files, the uh, uh, front-end uh, views, uh, 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 template overrides, and stuff like that. So the T3 cache can be cleared once Joomla cache is cleared. So it's, it works with Joomla cache, core, uh, core cache, no problem. Okay, so uh, uh, some of you may have heard about uh, the compress. Uh, you, you said you were using uh, Joomla art. Templates. Yeah, well, okay. Okay. So uh, we introduced this uh, plugin to uh, speed up the page loads by compressing uh, CSS and JavaScript files. Uh, this allows you to uh, uh, to set a compression level. Uh, this allows you to set uh, what are the the files to be compressed. Uh, what uh, uh, of course, uh, it, it brings uh, several uh, compression methods. If you have heard about Minify or Smart Optimizer scripts, of course, and uh, others. So this plugin will be implemented into the framework. And uh, we already tried to, um, yeah, in this example, for instance, uh, it's, it's still hard for me to speak. <laughs> um, so for instance, the CSS files of the Telling 3 template uh, is about uh, six, seven, no, 70 percent smaller. So it's, uh, it is quite a, uh, a speed up for your page load. Yeah, so we have the JavaScript, the style sheet, yeah, so, so instead of, of having 220 kilobytes, we have only 65 for the uh, JavaScript file. Or instead of 81 kilobytes, we have only 19. So it is a page load to, to consider. Yeah, yeah.
Please, next, next slide. Next slide, please. So, the first ver version of our framework introduced multiple layouts. Uh, we, or, or some of you may have heard about this feature, uh, but uh, the new version of the framework provides even more power for this feature. It, um, uh, with this new framework, you can manage these layouts right in the backend. You don't have to edit the files, upload them. You just uh, use the default layouts, uh, clone them, create your own, uh, modify, customize whatever you want, and uh, change positions, change styles, change almost everything in the backend. Don't, you don't need to use uh, Dreamweaver or something like that. Notepad, notepad or something. You, you just go, gonna go right in your backend and uh, <laughs> you'll be amazed to, <laughs> to work with this. <laughs> Sorry? So you can basically make custom leads that you transform the whole site like Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we, like yeah, we're going to see some screenshots at the end. Okay, so these uh, these are, these layouts are the files to to hold all HTML generation of uh, of the front end. So uh, uh, these layouts load some other files called blocks. We already mentioned about this uh, concept uh, a few minutes ago. So these blocks are the are the ones to hold the modules positions. Finally, meet the modules positions. Uh, well, you you may think this is a uh, 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 not so very efficient to uh, to use uh, files, loading other files, other files, other files. But uh, the the main feature, the main uh, advantage here is to create m multiple blo blocks with multiple configurations, classes, uh, uh, script calls. Uh, so you can develop uh, unlimited layouts, unlimited designs just in one template. That's the idea. And you can allow your users to um, change the layout, change the color, change position of, uh, I don't know, latest news. I want to see it in the right. I don't, I don't like it in the left. So that's an example. Uh, these blocks uh, usually are, of course, uh, you know the header, the left, the right. We already uh, we are already uh, used with this. Um. So as we said, index PHP no longer hold module positions. It only uh, uh, works as a main router of the uh, framework of the template, <coughs> and <coughs> uh, m makes this bondage with the uh, with the core pl plugin. <coughs> So, uh, okay, let's meet the menu systems now. This is uh, CSS menu. It's uh, one of the lightest menu. Uh, uh, you can use it uh, for very large websites to load very uh, uh, optimum JavaScripting. You can use this one. It is the lightest. It's the fastest. <coughs> Uh, it provides a simple cascade style. Okay, let's go ahead and see the next one. This one is, uh, it, it has uh, uh, another brother called drop, drop line menu, you may have heard. They both uh, use some tiny code to um, display the menu structure in uh, a horizontal way and uh, vertical way. So this is the root menu. The level one, the level two is displayed different. So, drop line is the same, uh, basically. But uh, on a drop line menu, uh, you can see the level two. Uh, no, sorry, the level one and level two when you hover the root menu level, uh, menu item. But in here, the split menu, you can see the uh, the level one and above when this menu item is enabled, is active, right? 
Okay, this is the mega menu we have uh, already talked about. Um, one of the most powerful out there. Uh, with, the, with mega menu, you can create horizontal, vertical display of uh, your entire uh, menu structure. Horizontal again, back uh, columns, whatever you want. You can create a, uh, a powerful navigation right in your uh, main navigation. You don't have to, to use, I don't know, menus in the left or in the right. You can do it everything right in your main navigation. So uh, this menu, no, please go back. <laughs> okay, so as we said, uh, this, uh, this menu system can load mod modules. What can you do with it? What, why can you load modules for? What do you think? Showcase your best content? What do you think? Yeah. And sometimes you want to put something static on the app. Even you want to put a login on the message. It's easier for users to log in. So it can be, it can be done with mega menus. Taking for i6. <laughs> okay, next slide, please. This is the menu plugin. We have uh, the menu parameters plugin we have uh, spoke about. It was introduced in the late version of the first uh, template framework. Uh, this this is where we can uh, we can customize the uh, uh, description. You know, uh, after uh, just below your home, you can you can say welcome, or you can you can add a slogan or a, a, short, a very short description about what is that about, that uh, menu or page or something. And uh, you can uh, create columns, as, as I said. Uh, you can group uh, menu items. For instance, I would like to group uh, the, one of the root menu items. I, w I would like to group and uh, show, no, uh, sorry. For level one menu item, I would like to group it with its uh, sublevels, so it will display like a column, just like we, we have uh, we have seen in the previous slide, please. Just like this. This is the level one. These are the level two. So this is this is actually a column here. Okay. You can set uh, for your columns uh, custom widths. You can uh, add additional classes. Uh, you can, uh, and this, this one below, the, the, the last one, this allows you to load modules or module positions. Okay, we're going to, we're going to document this <laughs> in the uh, future. Okay, so let's start presenting the profiles. As we said, profiles are used to uh, to store uh, all templates, template settings, uh, just like you, you think of, about uh, presets. You know about this, uh, of course. So we can, you can create unlimited profiles with uh, uh, unlimited combinations of your uh, settings. For instance, you would like to use a, a, lo uh, a designated logo for a page, another logo for another page, uh, you can uh, use another color for another page, and this is uh, what we call uh, an advanced override. To override the base, the default of the default uh, profile with another another profile using another settings uh, set. So, uh, how can you manage these profiles? Well, you can manage them very easy in the front end, in, uh, sorry, in the back end, and you can uh, customize them in the front end with uh, the user tools. We're, we're going to see the uh, user tools. Um, so, what do they bring to the framework? Well, uh, these profiles have taken over the, uh, the overrides that uh, previously were used for 
uh, menu system override or layout override. This means uh, you, you could uh, assign a special layout for, for instance, for virtual mart or for content. You can use only, for instance, three columns layout for virtual mart. And that layout will be used only for virtual mart. For other pages, we, we, we will use the default profile or uh, layout, or sorry. So this, this, uh, this feature have been taken over by the profiles. So you can create unlimited uh, combinations, OK? So uh, another, uh, <laughs> my friend is uh, it's a little hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes. Okay. So that's very. Yeah, that's what, what I, I was uh, going to, to explain. Uh, the framework will, will come with uh, a, a blank template. At the end of our presentation, we're going to show you uh, a screenshot with a blank template. It's a very light, uh, you have seen uh, just a piece of it uh, when we, we have shown the menu systems. You can see yeah. It, yeah, this is the blank template. You can use it. You, you can use this uh, core template and uh, its files to create your own layouts and uh, themes and uh, whatever you want. Yeah. If you, uh, well, if you want to add some additional code, you will have to. Uh, forget about uh, uh, backend editing. You should back. Uh, you should code uh, the hard way. I mean, uh, because the, the framework is not template. It's plugin, so it's quite independent with your, you know, your template. So what you do is just based on our sample, a uh, starting base. We have a blank template. And we have a very minor, very small template. When combining with the core template, it makes a good sound. Like our current is, our current is seventy percent is in the core, I mean in the plugin, and thirty percent is in template. So thirty percent is the color, uh, the spacings, the typography, and that's all. And the image. I just want to, to say two things, uh, two important things about uh, profiles. Uh, when when you change a profile, you you're not uh, you're not redirected to home page anymore because uh, that's uh, making the usage of user tools. So you, you, we don't use uh, uh, links ter terminations like uh, menu e equals CSS. We eliminated this uh, small inconvenient. <coughs> okay, let's. Uh, this is uh, uh, in the middle. You can see the new uh, framework plugin. It's a system plugin. Uh, it holds, for instance, in this particular uh, uh, screenshot, we shown where this element uh, have gone from uh, purity two, have gone to this folder here, and finally the blank template. That's very much the same with the purity. Uh, it's much cleaner. It only holds the CSS, HTML overrides, some images for your uh, styling, and uh, local that will store your themes. That, so this is where your themes are going to go. This is where the general CSS of your uh, 
template should go. So it's much lighter. You can, you can use unlimited number of uh, templates with just a single core. So no, you can imagine you, you can optimize a lot of just using this. So uh, it's a real core. Yeah, please. <coughs> let's uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, how much time do we have? Five minutes. Okay. So uh, basically, the uh, the administration panel got AJAX. Uh, when you when you uh, change something, click save. You you're not going to refresh all the page. You're going to see just the message. Your settings have been saved, and no more. Uh, uh, it's much faster, of course. Um, uh, the backend al allows you to upload your themes, as we said. Uh, you customize your themes and upload them directly in, in the uh, backend. Uh, in, the, in, this, in this panel, you can change the overrides, the system settings that uh, are for cache, uh, we already talked about, and the uh, CSS and, and, uh, compression uh, settings. Uh, this is still under work. Okay, let's... Um, Get the next slide, please. So this is uh, uh, still the global panel. Uh, this is where you can select uh, the pages and content components to, to be used overrides for. Are we, are we off? <laughs> OK. <laughs> OK. let's make it quick because we have no Yeah. Yeah. Demo setting, you have profile setting. In here, we have, you can make any other profile that you like. And also, we have uh, here the detail of the layout. Right? And also, we have layout planning, where you can make a set of the layout that then you have many imports. And uh, also, here the team. You can use many teams as you want. So, the team is what we provide. Is a, well, similar concept in Duma 1.6. When, uh, when Duma 1.6 uh, provides the star, we call it three. So it is quite similar concept. And in here, also, you can upload your own team. I mean, when you make customization, you can just shape it, pack it, and you can install it to any Duma template. Oh. So, okay, just one quick question. Yeah. Quick question, and we have to have story. So as I understand it, you're not providing different template packages anymore. You're using the same framework. Will you guys provide 
Yeah. Yeah, but the the template dis distribution packages will be de delivered with the new plugins and everything would be. Just make sure Java doesn't use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I have a slide on the slide here.net, so if you have any copy, you can go there and take a look. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Yes, please, you can.